So it's that time of the year again in the UK when it's just getting really cold, dark and gloomy and as someone who works from home most of the days, uh, it does start to get a little bit depressing because I'm not really out much. But the good thing is, is that Christmas is coming up and arguably for me, I'd say the build up to Christmas is a lot better than actual Christmas day itself. Like I really love how everything feels really festive and warm, cozy, lights are everywhere, like the smell of Christmas just brings me a lot of happiness. So I think today is going to be a day where we set up the tree and also maybe go into London and do a bit of Christmas shopping. But before that, I'm going to go and hit a workout first. So for the past couple of weeks, I'd say I've been breaking out quite bad, especially around like the temple area. And I have noticed that if I don't drink enough water, um, don't get enough sleep, and also if my skin is really dry, uh, it tends to break out. So I have been drinking more water this week and I've been using this Nivea cream um, because it's quite thick. Um, and yeah, I've been putting that before I go to sleep and then also in the morning as well. Uh, and it has cleared up my face quite a bit. Um, I still haven't fixed the sleep, so that's gonna come next. And because I am going into London, uh, I'm gonna put some of this um, Elta MD. It's a SPF, well, 50, it says 46 on it. Um, but it also is tinted, so it does hide some of the imperfections and like red blemishes, which I quite like. Um, even though that it's not sunny at all like it's literally just gray you do still need to put sun cream i think because of like the uv rays and stuff so yeah that's what i'm going to put on top as well it's actually a bit embarrassing because i don't own any trousers or jeans to go out in anymore because as i've been on this bulk my legs and also my waist have got a lot bigger so they literally look like extra skinny jeans, which uh, which just don't look good at all. So all I have now is active wear. And luckily these joggers here from ASRV are kind of all right looking to go out in. I mean, they still look like trackies, but from a distance, they look reasonable. Uh, so I guess the main aim for today is to try and find some trousers. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright The 
These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you Okay, 7.40 and we need to go to bowling at 8, but I'm just going to show you the jeans that I bought from Zara. They are a baggy fit, mid-waist, baggy high, drops, crotch, straight-legged, full-length jean. So I never used to wear straight leg jeans just because I feel like I wasn't aware of this sort of style back in the day where it was quite sort of baggy the whole way down. Naturally, my thighs are a lot bigger than my waist. So whenever I get like a 30 inch waist, it will be really tight on the thighs and also quite baggy around the calf area because I've got no calves. Yeah, I either have to size up to maybe like a 32, 34 for then the thighs to be fairly comfortable, but then it just was really baggy around the waist and it would look like I'm wearing a nappy. So I ended up always just going for like a tapered or slim fit sort of jean where it was sort of cuffed around the ankle as you saw in my joggers earlier. Um, but yeah, now that I've found these, I feel like it's quite a nice style. And then I'm just gonna pair up these jeans with just the classic Air Forces.